Welcome to Como's Flowworks Pro Basics 101 Overview. This will be one of many more videos to come regarding how to use our whiteboarding software Flowworks Pro. The first button is, think of it your, as your files. So, some quick features such as opening your files, saving it, importing documents, which you can import. PDF files, whiteboard files, or PD or PowerPoint files. You can also export your Flowworks Pro into a PDF or image file. You have your print feature, settings, and then just a couple other different items over here. You have different tools, which we'll be going over throughout the lessons. Um, different resources that you could call from. So Flowworks Pro has some image files, some little interactive pieces on here. You also have your basic writing tools. So this toolbar over here, you can actually change it out, but as a default, you have things like your pen tool, which you can change your colors here. You have access to even more colors. Um, if I want to pick this color, I can click on that and I can write right on here. The software itself supports up to 10 points of touch. So if you have an interactive whiteboard, um, you can utilize that feature very well. You also have different things such as your highlighter, you have your crayons, which can upload different fun patterns. We have a couple defaults in here and you can write with that. We also have the laser pointer. So basically what that is, is just a quick call out. Um, it will disappear. So kind of like a laser pointer. Um, you have your smart text. So handwriting recognition, if you want to write something. Hello, nice. And again, you have different colors that you could call from for all of these features. For text, if you want to type out anything, you can. there's a text feature right here where you can type here, um, today's lesson, and you can move it around. You can change the different font colors. We have our eraser tool. So this erases your annotations. In terms of your objects, it doesn't necessarily erase your objects. If you want to delete your objects, you can click on it and you can click on X or you can go to the eraser button and you can go to the trash can and that will erase everything. You have different shapes over here. So the shapes, you can do a star. If you want to go in here and have a different fill for the star, different outline that you want to pick. Um, you can edit it right there. And then you also have 3D objects as well. Cone. If you just want to do different lines. So roaming allows you just to move your board if Let's say you want to shrink down your board. You can just shrink it, move it over, and now you can write over here. Capture allows you to do different screenshots. So if I, for some reason, wanted to screenshot this, I can screenshot, click OK, and then there you go. It's duplicated. I can, you know, I can expand it. I can move it around. If you have a interactive screen or a touch screen, you can use your fingers using two fingers. You can just twist it, expand it, fun little gestures like that. And you also have your undo redo button. So if you want to undo something redo, you can click on that very easily. You can add pages by clicking the add page button back and forth on your slides. Different pages, you can click on the page two out of two click on here. If I cl click on play, it'll play my slideshow um, in full screen. So 
easier to present this way. The theme gives you access to different backgrounds. So maybe I want to change my background to blue. Maybe I want to add some grid lines in. Um, let's do proper grids with dotted lines. Um, and, you know, now I can write on top of this. Or maybe I want other backgrounds. So let's say I want to add a page, add a different image background. Um, Flowworks Pro has a couple such as music lines on here. We have lined papers, different kinds of lined paper. Or if you are a sports fan, you have different type of fun tools for that over here as well. In addition, you also have the option to add a background by clicking the Browse button over here. One feature I really like is desktop mode. Basically, desktop mode mimics having a piece of glass on top of any window or document and allows you to write directly on top of anything. So if I click on desktop mode, I have a floating icon and now I can open anything. So if I want to open, let's say, my Math Edition document, I can write on here. Oh, whoops. Now, and now if I want to save this, I can click on either this button over here or the screen clip icon. So the screen clip icon allows me to snip just a part of the screen versus this icon lets me screenshot everything. So I'm just going to screen snip. And I am going to add this to a new page. So that gets copied into my Flowix Pro. If I want to delete this, I can just click on the trash can. I want to go back to my Flowix Pro, so I click on this icon. And now I can access what I just screenshot and I can save this for later use.